For our next problem, we have an equation to solve. We have 5x to the 3 halves power minus 10 is equal to 0. Now remember, we're trying to solve for x, so we want to isolate x. So first, let's add 10 to both sides of this equation. And we'll have 5x to the 3 halves power is equal to 10. Next, let's divide both sides of this equation by 5. When we do that, we'll have x to the 3 halves power is equal to 2. Now, we're trying to isolate x, so what we need to do is take both sides of this equation and raise it to the 2 thirds power. The reason we're raising both sides to the 2 thirds power is because of the rules for exponents. Remember, when you have a base raised to a power, raised to another power, you multiply those exponents. 3 halves times 2 thirds just gives us 1. So therefore, on the left hand side, we'll just have x to the first power, or x, is equal to 2 to the 2 thirds power. Now, when we raised both sides to the 2 thirds power, we were really taking the cube root and then squaring. That's what rational exponents do. So it's important that we check this answer. We're going to check x equals 2 to the 2 thirds power by substituting this value in for x in the original equation. When we check, we're going to have 5x to the 3 halves power minus 10 is equal to 0. Now let's substitute 2 to the 2 thirds in here for x. We'll have 5 times 2 to the 2 thirds, that's x, raised to the 3 halves minus 10 equals 0. I should put a question mark here because I'm checking. So we have 5 out in front of the parentheses, 2 raised to the 2 thirds raised to the 3 halves. Notice when I multiply the exponents, I just get 2 thirds times 3 halves, which is equal to 1. So I have 5 times 2 minus 10. Is that equal to 0? Sure. 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. So that was true. Therefore, I can say that my solution set is the set containing 2 to the 2 thirds power. Just as a side note, 2 raised to the 2 thirds power, which is our solution, is approximately equal to 1.59 on a calculator.